So today's session, I'm going to build a Fury freestyle application using our deployed cap application, which is exposing the OData endpoint and connect it. So first of all, the important thing to remember and note that in our BTP account, we have already deployed our BTP cap services. So let me go back over here and go to my dev space and you see we have the SRV and we have the UI. So these are the, the services which we have already uh, developed and if I go to SRV, you can access this cap service. Let me try to access this cap service now, which we developed in the previous class. Yes, and now I can just go ahead and access. It says unauthorized, you see. For everything, it says unauthorized. So if you remember the security concepts I taught in the previous class, I also showed you the security concept on the Postman tool where in order to access a service protected by access UAA, we need the JOT token. We need the JOT token. So we had this postman collection, Anubav BTP training, and here we learned about how to call our microservice, secure microservice, how to we test it using OAuth 2.0 with all this JOT token strategy and everything. So let me just copy this, duplicate this call. And I say call cap service from outside. It's basically, third party would like to call. So we will take this, we will call the business partner, for example. So we're going to get the same problem when we try to call unauthorized. So what did we do? We went to authorization. We say, I want to get a token. We will create a new token name, BTP cap token. And we will then provide the URL of our access UAA service. So for that, we went to the BTP account. We went to our trial sub account. And we will just check out the access UAA service instance, the backing service, which was created in the last class yesterday. Here it is. And then we will obtain the service key for the CAP SRV. Yes, we will obtain the service key. So let me just get the service key view. Go to form and we take the URL for the authentication. We will place that with postfix as OAuth token. We will take the client ID. We will take the client secret over here. And then we will just put our email ID. That's the email ID with a different account I'm using. We will put the password because that's the user which has the roles assigned already in the last class. And I will just say get new access token. So this we also did in the previous episodes. Please go back and check last classes where I taught you this concept completely. The redirection, the token exchange. Kindly go back and check previous class. I'm not going to repeat this today. I'm just going to directly consume. So I've got the token and now I access and then i get my response back fantastic Woo! so that's my service response from outside when you try to access any btp resource like a capm service protected by access uaa now in a very exact manner in a very similar manner if you would like to access today your btp cap service from a another fury app basically now what we try to do we want to build a fury app here and this Fury app, will we will always access via destination. So we need to first build this destination today. In order to allow our teams to build a Fury app on our cap project, we need to build this destination. Now, this destination is not like simply uh, the destination which you created till today for S4 on a server or any other server. For example, you just simply add the URL, the on-premise, the cloud connector URL, or the normal S4 on a cloud system URL and add it. That, that's that's just like a uh, like a normal internet based destination but the one which we need to create will be app to app to uh, basically a destination of oauth to jot token based 
destination which we need to create now to simplify this process what i've also done in the study material of our training i have provided all of you a destination because this is a tricky part and i don't want you to do mistakes on this part so in our training material i'm already providing a destination you guys can go ahead and check the same so uh, this destination i'm already providing to all of you as part of our training material so when you go to a training material uh, in this training material, you are going to see actually a file. The name of the file will be called Capum Project Dest. Yes, this file you see, Capum Project Dest. Kindly right click and download this in your computer. Yes, from the study material, download this in your computer. Go straight ahead to the to the BTP account. Yes, and now in the BTP account, you can come here and what you can do is you can simply uh, go to the dest connectivity destinations and import this destination so this is a sample destination provided by anubhav to all of you to make your life easy import and just go to cap destination here it is we have come and i say capm destination http and i say uh, to build separate theory app for example we will give the url so this url will be the url of our service our cap service so what's the url of our cap service so everything you can get from the postman because we already stabilized everything so this is the url of our cap service slash v2 yes we are interested to get the v2 response yes so that is what we are going to do so slash v2 slash i think uh, we already implemented the the proxy so I'll just go to slash v2 slash catalog service let me try that also works or not yes it works you see because most of the freestyle fury app is still use v2 yeah v2 so we are using the v2 slash catalog service I think we have to use catalog service or we can ignore uh, using this v2 and anything that we can put after also yes after also so that is the one internet and now you see oauth to user token exchange very important the authentication type has to be this yes very very important now client id so we already have the client id we copy that client secret we are going to get it from the cloud foundry environment so where 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 did we Go. so I think oops let me just get it from here this is the client secret I already tested everything then we will get the token URL where we'll obtain the token from so the token URL is this one OAuth token that's a token URL and scope will be the role we need to put the role so if you remember in the last class we had created the role so you can also just check that from the token so get the access token and you can decode the token so let me copy this and go back and i said decode base 64. and we decode this base 64 file and in this you will see all the all the scope and the roles and everything so in this we will see somewhere our uh, our role will also be visible yes so we will see the role was uh, the viewer role if you remember we had granted the viewer role so that will come also inside this token basically so yes here it is you see cap po p something viewer role this is the role so i want to tell computer that kindly use this role along with the along with the with the request which you are sending so this is the role which we need to pass web id enable true or data gen is true so that we can consume this destination eventually in the business application studio tool to access our fury apps uh, uh, access this destination via the fury apps so all these properties you need to add yes the role is mandatory you have to put you have to tell what is the security with which you want to go yes so now click on save Two hundred is okay. So the connection is successfully established. 
So a destination got successfully created.